Oh, I got to do an update. I got to do an update. I'm out thinking I need to find well, some to brothers update. that are fellowshipping. And I kid you not, I park my car down, about, you know, a couple hundred yards that way. And I'm going to go see Rick. Uh, I saw Rick at the turnaround. I'm thinking I'll go visit Rick, but I kind of need a fellowship. I kid you not, I'm walking down, and in the middle of the bushes, I see Brother Andy. This is Comrade. You've not seen him yet, but you've seen Big Charlie. And actually, Andy says, come on down. We're having a fellowship, which, of course, they are. They're talking about the Lord. And uh, I thought, isn't that strange? Because I'm just walking down here, and it was made to order. Andy, what's... What are the chances? What, what is, are the chances? What's going on? Well, I'll tell you. We are... <laughs> it is you fun. know I can tell you. Now, I almost went, I went to the Walmart uh, in town. I almost was going to check up on David, but I did not. Your brother, that's his. Well, I'll tell you what, it's, this is like, like a miracle almost. I mean, what are the chances that Brother John would be stumbling along this way and come upon the bush and find us down here talking about the Lord? We have a younger brother in the Lord here. His this name is, is Conrad. That's Conrad. I've met Conrad a few times, and I gave him a cigarette yesterday, as a matter of fact. So, And God has obviously called us for this time <laughs> yeah. and this season and this purpose to be together that we might glorify Him because God loves you Amen. that much. That's right. He loves you that much, Him that much, me that much, and Conrad that much, and Charlie. And it's, Charlie's uh, my ex-son-in-law. Yeah, and um, and they, a lot of people have seen Charlie on video. We're thicker than Sron. It's kind of like the salve of the bomb of Gilead. You know? yeah, man. I was um, that we were down here sharing the word with our friend Conrad because God called us to do this. That's what we're called to do. To, uh, to be instant in season and out of season. And my God, here we are. It's, uh, we're... Uh, with every word, we're trying to minister grace, and we're trying to let it be seasoned with salt. The Spirit of the Lord backing us up because He's here. Amen. You know, it's I just know Conrad not that much, but I was he was staying at an old camp where one of my other friends stayed. And one day I was walking up. It was Wild Bill. You stay there. I had not seen Bill in a while, but I think Conrad thought, "Who's this guy walking up?" Sometimes I'm all in black, and he was in the tent. I said, "No, brother, I'm looking for Bill." So then yesterday I saw a comrade gave him a cigarette, but I had to tell him, look, I do street ministry because, you know, people see me walking around. I have my old uh, fireman badges and I'm a retired firefighter. All they got to do is see one of those badges in the car and like, are you kidding? This guy is a narc. You know, I was, t well, I won't tell too many so Charlie, give us a word. The word is. Uh, and these guys are just sitting down here like having a little fellowship. Philippians 2.13. My favorite scripture says, For it is God who works in you, both the will and the do of his good pleasure. And I'm reminded again of the gentleman who wrote this as his last words. As I listen to the lions and the bones of my brother, I only pray that I have been found meat in the 18th for my maker. And the lions ain't here. So what? I pray that I have been found meat for my maker to live in these times, in this place era where we get to see, not only see, but be used of by an almighty God and the love of Jesus Christ will flow in us and through us to touch this nation one more last time. I'm, I'm good for it. I'm down for that. That's right. You know, that sounds like something Polycarp might have said. Polycarp was an early Christian martyr and he lived an old life and they, would, they asked him to renounce the Lord and the early persecutions of the church. But at the end, he said, the Lord and Jesus, I paraphrase, he's been faithful to me all my life. Will I deny him now? But those are some of the famous martyrs of uh, church history. So it was in, as a matter of fact, as I was praying today earlier in a session time, I was thinking, I actually was thinking of having a fellowship with Andy and his brother. And I'm thinking, man, I could see myself sitting with Andy and his family today, sometime today. And this was totally unplanned because I very rarely walk this walk. I just parked the car because I'm going to walk under a turnaround over here. And so this was divinely ordained. And, uh, you know, God works in very interesting ways. Andy, give me a final word. Okay, a final word is this. I still reserve blackberry. I knew he was... Now, we're down here having a little sip, but you know what? 
God knows all about the sits. And I'll tell you this, it's not how good you are and it's not how bad you are, it's about how good Jesus is, was, and is to be. Now I'll say this, to him that knows to do good and does it not to him that is sin, it's not to him that does a little bad or to him that does a little good, all of our goodness and righteousness is this filthy rag. You know, but the righteousness of Christ which dwells in us comes forth. Now my friend Conrad, I know John will get around to it, but he'll ask John something like, I mean Conrad something like, so what's going on with you John? Well God's done a lot in his life. He pulls a few scales from his eyes, open him up to see things. He's walking a new life. He's, my God, I'll just let Conrad tell you. It's and it's got nothing to do with about how good we are or the Blackberry. It's got all to do with God. He's God and he's God all by himself. He don't need anything with us except availability to share his word. That's As a matter it. of fact, I think the Lord was preparing Conrad for getting some fellowship the witnessing because like I said, I just ran into him yesterday, kind of gave him a cigarette as I was leaving the store. So uh, sometimes people show up in this area, they don't know what the reason is. And of course, God's always got a purpose. I'm gonna end it quick because this is like a little update. I'm glad you saw Andy and Charlie. You know, Charlie quoted a verse the other day. I'll end with that. He's, I think he quoted on video, but it said, blessed is the man who does not condemn himself in the thing which he allows. And then what Charlie said, I think it was on a video, he said, and you might say, what does that mean? And Charlie said, you just go listen to it or read it, that's a scripture, and you find out what it means. Oftentimes, we read the word of God and then we, we kind of have people explain it to us. You really don't need people to explain it to you. Uh, God will speak to you from the word of God and uh, it's really a personal thing between you and God, all right? So I want to end it with that. Uh, I bless Charlie, Conrad, and I'm going to still fellowship with these brothers because it just worked out that we showed up right in this spot. And it was really interesting. That's because we turned it on, all right? That's uh, update for today. God bless everybody.